We are back, 812. We got People's Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive here. I can't even speak. Patrick Dempsey, he's been a Hollywood icon for nearly 40 years. He went from oh teen my. heartthrob to Dr. <laughs> McDreamy. Like 40 years. And now he's <laughs> taking a stab at horror. He's got a new movie. It's uh, called Thanksgiving. Yes, he plays a small town sheriff investigating a series of gruesome murders. Should we roll a preview? Let's roll. Hide oh, our eyes. Let's leave. Okay, sure. we're scared. Welcome. And here you are. <laughs> John Carver. He was the first. First governor of New Plymouth Colony. Look at you. have been doing your homework there, about. Well, if you call <laughs> reading a plaque in the statue homework. Uh, now, come on. Show some enthusiasm. Thanksgiving is an institution. What kid wouldn't want to wear that, right? Yeah. yeah get used to it. Everybody's going to be wearing them. <laughs> that accent comes very naturally yes, to you as you are a major. Yes, it was really nice to be able to do that. It was wicked awesome. <laughs> wicked awesome. Can we talk about, and we're going to talk about the movie in a second. Sure. But first of all, we got to hear what it was like when you got the call that you, in fact, Patrick Dempsey, our sexiest people's man alive. How did, yeah. that, how did that land for you? It was funny. I was in New York and I was on, I was on the plane. I just got on the plane. I was here uh, for the Clinton Foundation talking about the foundation that we have in Maine. Mm -hmm. And I was like, who's calling me? It's 730 and I'm on a plane. Yeah. It's my publicist and my uh, my manager. And they told me that. And I, I was laughing like, come on. What, what, why are you really calling why? me? <laughs> uh, so it was really a great surprise. And it's been uh, a fun ride and grateful for the attention. <laughs> I, I know. I, I will talk it's about Because you are you're you're using it to shine a light on something very important to right. you. But I, just let's take a step back and do the trajectory of your career. Because mm -hmm. I remember when you were in Can't Buy Me Love. Right. Yeah. So you kind of have had these like tentpole moments of your career. And then you were McDreamy. Right. And then now you're people's sexiest man alive yeah. at 57, which is so cool. Yeah, it's great. At this, at this age, I'm very happy. <laughs> uh, it, it boosts your, you know, certainly your confidence a little bit. Because you get into your 50s, it's, you know, you think those, those moments are gone and you're changing, your body's changing, your priorities are changing. And it was really, it was nice. And I, I credit my, my wife, who's an amazing makeup artist and has taught me about skincare. Uh -huh. So thank you for that. And my kids keep me really young and active. So yeah. did they, well, yeah, I got to hear what your kids thought they, when you told them they're like no seriously who is it dad who is it, who is it? They, they didn't get it right away and then we had uh we had a good laugh about it and they were supportive and uh i they, heard they were asking like okay this is who it should have been who should be yeah. the sexy yeah person. that's like so and it's a generational thing <laughs> yeah in, when it, in many ways so that was a good debate well and as i mentioned you were shining you're shining yeah. a light on something very close to you your mother passed from ovarian cancer yes. you're from maine yes originally and you've started a center there and it's it's really quite unique tell me about it yes it's called the dempsey center so what we do is people who have been impacted by cancer we support them we don't treat the disease we treat the person holistically oh. and wrap around care um our, our our big services are really counseling whether it be individual Individual or group and we also have a good kids program as well so that young children can get in there and talk in a, in a protected environment we work on nutrition Reiki uh, whatever we can do to empower the patient and the family because also we take care of the, the caregivers which is very important Ooh, as well very. Uh, nutrition prevention uh, more and more people are surviving cancer now because they're getting their screenings and then also we talk about survivorship so all of these things we tr we try to work on and um, we we, we do these services at no cost, so no one has to pay wow. for that. I think the holistic piece gets left out. I yes. mean, it's like, here's your medicine, here are your marching orders, but you just don't feel right in so many other ways. Right, you, so you come out of this period of, of yeah. intense care yeah. and attention where you're treating the disease, but they're not healing you. And that's the thing that we want to do with a compassionate, understanding way. Um, and it's remarkable. I mean, it's the best thing that's come out of Grey's Anatomy to have that kind of <laughs> visibility as a doctor and to be able to do something positive in the town I grew mm -hmm. up in uh, is the most meaningful thing. And it should be standard care throughout the country. Yeah. Well, I'm sure a lot of other places are watching and mm -hmm. taking best practices. Now, there's really no segue here <laughs> to your slasher horror movie. No, 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 there isn't. None so I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Patrick Dempsey, we did not have you figured. We did not. For a slasher, bloody, gore movie called Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right. What brought you to this project? <laughs> My son loves this genre. Okay. And he said, Dad, you know, you need to do a movie like this. And so I, I started to, to discuss that with my agents. I'm like, look, if anything comes up, please let me know. I'd like to read it and see if I'm interested. 
And we knew the strike was happening and this project came up. And Eli Roth, who's a wonderful director, mm -hmm. great guy, who's from Massachusetts, Boston area anyway. Oh, yeah. um, and he and I had a conversation. I'd read this script and I was like, yeah, let's go do this. And uh, I'm glad I did. I had a lot of fun. So <laughs> we you're... laughed a lot and it was just a great experience. You're the sheriff. You're not, are you the bad guy in this? Uh, no, I'm just the sheriff. You're I'm just the sheriff. The sheriff. I'm, just a sure I'm, a, I'm, a sh I'm a small town sheriff. Okay. Um, and, uh, <laughs> you know, this, what happens is, is, event happens uh, like Black Friday where they mm -hmm. go in and they uh, a lot of uh, unfortunate things happen during this uh, Look moment. How politely you're saying. And, <laughs> and, and then it sets up the movie and why that. Uh, Do you like those kinds of movies? I don't go see them, no. no. I haven't even seen this movie yet. <laughs> yeah. but, but it's fun. It's a fun ride. It has yeah. a lot of twists and turns. It's great to see uh, in a group situation. So you definitely want to go and see it in the theater. With friends. Through, yeah, through your I remember doing it as a teenager. Yeah. It was a great date night type of thing. Oh, they were always on, you know, at those yeah. high school parties, you know, where people were oh, yeah, you'd all go as beer. a group yeah. and you'd have a good time. You'd yeah. scream and then you'd laugh and then you'd get freaked out again yeah. and then you'd love it. <laughs> I know. And, and then you have nightmares for a week. And real exactly. quick, you have another film that's coming up. Ferrari, is that I right? I have the Ferrari yes. movie, yeah. yes, that Michael Mann directed with Adam uh, Driver, who's in that. And that's going to be amazing. That's a great, and it's also, that's a beautiful story because it's about the humanity behind Ferrari and his relationship with his wife, how difficult it was to, to maintain a business relationship with her, as well as his, his lover, who he had. A very complicated period for them, but the performances are wonderful. It's shot beautifully. And Michael Mann is just fantastic. And are you really a race car driver? Do you like doing that? Yes, I've, I've raced for many years. Yeah. I did Le Mans four times. Wow. I did uh, Daytona 24 Hours, Sebring, all those races. And uh, just got back. I was in uh, Mexico doing the Carrera Panamericana with Porsche. This is a you real thing. Yeah, no, I, I love something. it. So that was my dream job to go do that. That's I shot sexy. it in Italy. Yeah, we just said. I got to drive cars yeah. the, the whole time, had great food and great people around. Oh. So. Well, you're and, a man of many talents, yes. Patrick Dempsey. Thank you so Thank much. You for Thank you for having me on. Yeah, really it's really fun. It. Come back early and uh -huh, often. Yeah. You okay. can catch Thanksgiving, uh -huh, if right. you dare. If you dare. Thursday, actually. Please go see it. Yeah, it's go fun see ride. it. It's Check fun. it out. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.